Albrecht Dürer was the wonderkind of 16th century German Renaissance art. Coat of arms with a skull, an engraving from 1503, marked him out as a prodigious talent. In this work, Dürer explores a theme present in many of his engravings, love, lust, and death. It depicts a patrician woman in festive finery, a wild man, a bestial character of medieval folklore, embraces her. The woman is blissfully unaware of her seducer's fatal intent. But from the viewer's perspective, the skull device upon his shield reveals him as the harbinger of death. Durer employs conventional heraldic motifs to convey his allegory, and displays his virtuosity as an engraver in his deft treatment of the materials and textures depicted. Shown in the burnished steel and feathered crest of the helmet, the hard shaggy limbs of the wild man, and the billowing foliate mantling, all this is keenly observed and rendered. The following year, 1504, Dürer produced Adam and Eve, reinventing this scene for his Renaissance audience. The pair are transported from the Garden of Eden to a wild Germanic wood. Between the figures, the Tree of Knowledge creates a symbolic divide. As Eve reaches for the forbidden fruit, Adam commands attention holding on to the branch of a rowan tree, known as the Tree of Life. Dürer has placed a parrot above Adam, symbolizing wisdom, and contrasted it with a serpent, the symbol of betrayal. With painterly pride, Dürer has added a tablet with a Latin inscription reading, Albrecht Dürer of Nuremberg made this, 1504. Printing with astonishing clarity and contrast, the depths of the forest are as rich as the nude's bodies are luminous. Every fine line is pronounced in this superior example. A decade later, Andura was at the peak of his powers and the evident master of his craft. In 1514, he created Saint Jerome in his study. It depicts the solitary saint bathed in the warm illumination from the window of his study. The scholar in a quiet moment of contemplation. Whilst his animals doze in the foreground. The extraordinary level of detail is only fully expressed in the finest impressions of the subject such as the present example. These three exceptionally fine prints exemplify Dürer's early virtuosity and confirm his place in the pantheon of Renaissance art.